Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back to a brand new video. Do you find it hard to follow some of the self-care routines advertised out there? Whether it's because you don't know what you need to do or because you're just too busy all the time. Like many others, you keep putting off your self-care plans for later. But taking some time for yourself is incredibly beneficial for your mental health and general well-being, and it can be surprisingly easy to do. Although self-care varies from person to person, certain aspects such as reducing stress, eating better and getting enough sleep serve as the foundation for self-care. So if you don't know where to start, here are six simple self-care tips to help you become a better you. Number one, make a sleep routine. Do you have a consistent time to go to bed? Practicing self-care is easier when you create a routine because it mentally prepares you to disconnect. And it's especially helpful when it comes to going to bed. If you find that you have trouble falling asleep, try to create a plan that prepares you for bedtime. Drinking water before bed or reading a book to wind down are some things you could try. Some even say that dimming the lights before sleeping works well as it signals your brain to start producing melatonin, the sleep hormone. This tip works great, especially if you spend hours in front of the computer. Number two, eat mindfully. Are you mindful of what you eat? While working out is also mentioned in self-care articles, what you put into your body is also equally important. Apart from how it affects your physical well-being, it also can play a role in your mental health. Consider the 100 million nerve cells that line your gastrointestinal tract that are in constant communication with your brain. According to an article published in 2017, inflammation of your bowels may be one of the causes of issues like stress, anxiety, and depression. Ultimately, you might wanna consider making it your goal to eat better to feel better rather than only to look better. Number three, create and enforce boundaries. Do you set boundaries with other people? While some may falsely believe that boundaries exist to deliberately exclude certain types of people from our life, it doesn't. Although it can end up doing that, boundaries primarily exist as a reminder that you need to take care of yourself first. They serve as guidelines for other people on how they should approach and treat you. It can also save you from a lot of emotional or mental distress and help you foster better relationships with other people. Number four, disconnect. Are you always plugged into your computer or your phone? This may be difficult to do, especially with how much work and personal life requires you to be online all the time. But taking time to disconnect is important for your mental well-being. Whether it's because you're scrolling through your phone to look at the news, social media, or because of work, Looking at your screen for long periods of time without breaks is an unhealthy habit. This is why it's crucial for you to spend some time offline as well. Perhaps you can go for a walk, do some yoga, or get involved in a hobby. Whatever it is, being disconnected from your screen from time to time can help you clear your mind, relieve stress, and help ground you. Number five, organize inside and out. What does your room look like? The environment around you can have an effect on your mental health. Researchers have shown that a disorganized home can actually contribute to depression, anxiety, and weight gain. So if you find yourself surrounded by a lot of clutter and mess, it may be time to start organizing the things around you. Whether it's following the ways of Mary Kondo by looking at what sparks joy or just sorting through your things one by one, you can start to take the steps to create a more tidy and clean environment for yourself and your mental well-being. And number six, do something you love. Are there hobbies that you love doing? When most people think about self-care, it's probably something that involves dancing around to your favorite music with a face mask on. While you might think it's cheesy, the point is that you're doing something fun. Ultimately, self-care is about you, so do something that makes you happy, whether it's reading a book or going for a run. As long as you're not harming yourself or other people, doing something you love and making yourself happy is essential in caring for yourself. Which tip did you find most helpful? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.